Is your smart home really smart? Hey, hey everyone, Amanda here with What the Feng Shui. And today's topic is about smart homes and if you think they're really smart. Today's question comes in from Aletta, wanting to know what are some suggestions I offer clients about homes that are always plugged in. Here's the thing, you have to really pay attention to how you feel. A lot of people want to poo-poo this idea of EMF and what that does to our energy system. And for those who aren't in the know and are wondering what the heck EMF is, it's electromagnetic fields. This comes from all of our technology, everything from our computers to our appliances to our phones, everything that we use as far as our devices. These devices, if you are sensitive, can really affect your energy system. It can cause fatigue, headaches, joint pain, anxiety, insomnia, and so much more. EMF is measured in milligauss, and so the EPA recommends that you limit your exposure to 0.5 to 2.5 milligauss. Now here's the problem with that. Your microwave alone, when you are three steps away from it, actually emits 25 milligauss. So that is immediately affecting your energy system. Combine that with all of the technology that you're using every single day, and when you go to bed, if you have technology around your bed, your system is being berated with all of this EMF and not able to heal. It's not able to rest. And that's where you start to see illness. And that's why you start getting conditions like joint pain, anxiety, uh, headaches, and so much more. What you wanna do is, there's a lot of things. There are some extremists that are coming out that are doing everything that they can to eliminate EMF in their homes. Everything is shutting down their electrical panel. So if this isn't an option for you, or you're not willing to take that extreme to do this, here are some things that you can do to start reducing some of the EMF that you're experiencing. Remove heavy metals from your diet and anything that you have, like if you've got dental fillings that are made with mercury, you wanna get those replaced. Metals in our body are conduits and can actually amplify the EMF that's around us. Some things that you can do is take um, something like cilantro extract, which is a great detox and allows your body to detox those metals out of your body. The other thing is, is that I would recommend getting an EMF detector. You can find these on Amazon. Um, there's a whole array of uh, electric and digital ones, even battery operated ones that you can get. And this is a great way to see where you have high EMF in your home and your office too. This is really important that you have an understanding of where the high areas are in your home. If it happens to be your bedroom, you're gonna be in trouble because that's gonna affect you while you sleep and you're not gonna get the best rest. The other thing that I would recommend is getting grounding mats. You can buy grounding sheets for your bed and you can also buy grounding mats for underneath your desk. This is a great way to eliminate the EMF that is around you and help heal your emotional and etheric body. It's the energy system that is around our body. The other thing and final thing that you can do is something that's been around forever are salt lamps. Salt lamps are known to emit negative ions and all of our electrical stuff is very, very positive ions. And so if you're sitting in an office that has a computer, an iPad, a cell phone, maybe a couple of cell phones, it's putting off a lot of positive ions in that space. That salt lamp emitting off negative ions will help absorb some of that. And I would also recommend plants. Plants are a great way to absorb some of that uh, pollution that's going on in your office to help you feel a little bit better. Have a question for What the Feng Shui? Reach out to me. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, or email me at letschat at thegatescompany.com.